Hey you guys, how you doing? It's your girl Jenny Trap Witch, and I'm here with y'all to divine spells of wisdom for that air, for that what? For that ass, okay? Aries, Aries, Sable Rising, and Venus Collective. Welcome. If you have not joined in before, thank you and welcome. And if you have tuned in before, welcome back. All right. So this is gonna be a general reading for you guys, and I I wanted to channel a message for you all. Get lost by uh, Topaz Jones. So this song is like about seven minutes, and I'm three minutes in. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. So this is kind of like the melody right now. Um, but the energy in the beginning um, was about basically like going off to places so some of you guys could be traveling some of you guys could be um i'm hearing like traveling to new heights the message i did get was like hallelujah so like this is either somebody's grandma or someone's like past someone who's transitioned already and they're kind of giving you this confirmation or this is like an actual like applause from your ancestors an actual like a literal applause, like a congratulations from a group of people. So I feel like some of y'all have been through like a lot of tough times. Some of you guys either struggled or struggled alone. Some of you guys have been in just situations where you got fucking hurt. You know what I'm saying? And um, you've had to patch yourself up, patch up the wounds, doctor yourself, surgeon yourself back, back to these new heights that you are now, you know, having this belief about. I don't feel like there's any fear. I feel like you're kind of just fed up and you want to just start somewhere and something somewhere new or something new. Um, take that how it resonates. That's just what the vibes I'm getting overall. Just wanting to do something different. Some of y'all could, like he was talking about, actually be leave like packing all your shit and going. Packing all your shit and starting, going somewhere new. So we're just going to get right into it. That's just the vibes I picked up on. Hallelujah. Shit. Some of y'all. Okay, so also something about finding the answers. So you guys might be traveling or going somewhere to find the answers that you're needing at this time. Some of you guys could be finding those answers in church. That that's that kind of um your grandma, um, if she is still here on the earthly realm or she has transitioned, she is with you. She is with you every step of the way. She's been with you this entire time. Um you may have grow, grown up in church. And I feel like she was like a great example for you. Um, 
now I'm getting like involved in the church. Some of y'all may have been in the choir. Like, I don't know. I feel like something is dating back. Like, history, history. This is knowledge that's been passed down to you. I feel like you may have not been, you've not tapped into it yet. So, whether you are a spiritual person or a religious person, some knowledge that you have from your ancestors, you, you are going to find the answers, like, um, to, like, pop into your head. Like, this is knowledge that's been passed down to you, but because it's been so embedded, it probably into, like, your super, that's what's called your super conscious. You're, like, real, it's been embedded in you, but you have not tapped in. But because of this huge shift and change in your life, the information is going to start coming, or this is going to start being youthful now. Youthful, youthful, youthful energy, playful energy. Yes, you are, your spirits Your spirits are brightening up. We haven't even started the reading yet. Spirit, thank you for allowing me to connect with the collective each and every day for Aries today. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to awaken this rising. Thank you for allowing us... Thank you for allowing us to give us the opportunity to roam and travel this earth freely. For that, we thank you and we love you. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So, this I think is how I'm going to start doing my readings, okay? <clears throat> because it would save us both a lot of time. And I think with the cards that are going to come out are going to resonate whether or not I'm speaking. Don't pick ones up off the floor. So, Aries, we're going to get started while I'm pulling your cards. The first one out the deck was the world. So, like I'm saying, y'all are ready to see the world. Y'all are traveling to, to, new, to new things. Y'all are traveling to um, places unknown for you, maybe a little uncomfortable. I'm hearing also, like, beware. So, make sure you don't... Um, I don't know what I don't know wherever you at may have like a lot of dogs so if you're afraid of dogs like oh be yeah be watchful of your surroundings be watchful of your environment be watchful a uh, watchful of the people around you I don't know I don't know close friends close friends by a little baby wow that's totally different vibe so this is somebody why do I pick up on love and I don't do love readings. Like, I just do general readings and then love be coming out. Close friends is totally different than what I was talking about. But close friends by little baby, that's talking about two people who are for friends and became close. So, oh, so you could be reminiscing because I just saw the five of cups. So you could, <clears throat> while you're on this journey, while you're on this voyage for yourself, self mastery journey of some sort you could be having those you know reminiscent thoughts of this person who you actually became friends with and then it, it turned into something more serious um but besides that i'm i'm just getting that beware like of the people around you maybe you are actually becoming aware because you're you're reminiscing on those people um Continue to pull, please. Continue to pull the rest of this spread. Thank you. One last card. Ah, one last card for the Aries Collective. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I keep getting hallelujah. Your grandma is really present here. She's kind of soft. Like fluffy hair. Fluffy black hair. Kind of curly. She's wear she wears glasses. She got a slick tongue. She might curse a lot. I'm getting she might be you might be Spanish or have spinach. Spinach. Spinach? Oh, she might like spinach. Something about Spanish roots. I don't know. The overall energy for the spread is, well, you need to take a break. I feel like a point, a situation. So either this is the energy you had to break away from. You had to take a break from 
this um, chaos, but with it being in the reverse, this is you just wanting peace. Maybe just needing some rest, relaxation, downtime, a break from work, a break from home, a break from just all the chaos or all the all the things that life you know brings to you on a daily basis. But with the with your where you are right now is this energy, okay? This is um, new cycles, new new shifts are taking place in your life right now. I feel like that's what I'm saying about the uncomfortable, the uncomfortability. It's it's something new, so it's it, it's uncomfortable. You might not know um, your your all your surroundings. You might not certain things might not look familiar to you. Okay, yeah, there's some that it's like you're kind of in your own world right now, and so some things are a little cloudy or some things are not shown to you I feel like you're like bearing your soul though you're bearing yourself in this new cycle throwing yourself into this this is crossed by the queen of wands so th this is a this is a challenge for you because this is testing your um independence this is testing your growth this is testing how much you've how met how how you've conquered i feel like this is testing your testing your your stomping grounds this is testing your foundation how rooted are you into making certain things grow i feel like with the staff you have the foundation you have the the growth so you have the knowledge and the wisdom I think this is that this is the test for you. This is why this is happening to you, this transformation, so you can find literally like where you your your confidence, where you stand. Um, what you're needing to focus on is possibly getting some insight, getting some insight, getting some clarity. Cause, wow. Okay, so the only way for you to gain this information, the only way for you to gain this, um. You could also be pulling back your energy um, as far as not talking to no one, talking to anyone. Like, this is more, this is less thinking, more action with the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Yeah, and you see, yeah, it's like somewhere maybe you where you could have been, you could live somewhere hot or there's a drought somewhere or where you're going. It's something not there. It's something, how can I put this? Either where you're going or where you are currently, there's a drought. So somewhere, some there's a drought either where you are currently, so you're going somewhere to find more of it, or you, or there's too much where you're at and there's not enough where you're going. I don't know. That could apply. Take that how that resonates. Because you could be going somewhere hot. That's what I'm saying. But if it's hot, it could be a dry a dry heat with not a lot of water. Like, a lot. Of, it doesn't rain at here. This is probably where you are aspiring to go. But definitely, yeah, taking, definitely taking action. Definitely going. Yeah, this is somewhere. It looks like Mexico. Okay. That would make sense to a lot of us. Let's see. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's endings. This is literally cycles are being completed out. Ten. Ten is like the... Things are being, things have been cycled out, so now this is time for brand new things to come in, all right? This is actually um, going with the ups and downs in life, because sometimes, uh, sometimes we're at the peak of our game, and sometimes we be at our lowest low. And the song, before I started um, channeling songs, the first song was the bot was bottom Bottoms of the Bottoms by G Herbo. So you've already been at the bottom. 
So now it's time for you to experience the top, experience the growth, experience the progress now manifesting in your life, Aries. But to clarify the Ace of Swords, we have the Three of Wands. So like I was saying, where you're at, it's it's um it's no more. I, I think this is really the time for you to like if you've been needing the confirmation to move outside like your hometown or to these places where you're familiar, I think you to gain more momentum, more clarity, more insight, there's this need to get away. There's this because it's like you've been here so long, you've you've been comfortable. This is somewhere local. This is somewhere um someone is familiar with. You're not you haven't expanded to you haven't ex okay, let's say it's like you haven't crossed the other side. Okay, so I'm also getting um the spiritual realm. You haven't crossed the other side yet. So this is actually probably could this can be you channeling messages from your ancestors you haven't cr so maybe you're like a medium um hmm. I don't know I feel like some of you okay some of you guys get <laughs> some of you guys get visions or see very vivid images and pictures and I Y'all be thinking y'all tripping because I'm getting like visions turned into hallucinations. So you guys don't take what you are seeing for real. You need to take them for real. Okay, because you could be on the other side spiritually. You can connect. You can tap into this. It's up to you on <clears throat> seeing and believing where you're going. Um... So in your past, you could have been working together. You could have been. You could have been examining some things. Examining. I plan. This is like paying closer. This is you. I don't know. Paying more attention. Paying closer attention to your. I'm not going to say finances, but to the small details. I think this guy ain't getting you like you was worried. You was worried about something. I feel like you were you were you were mastering a craft. You were working on something, but you, this is like you taking your time on it. Wanting to get all the details, wanting to get everything perfect. Making sure um everything is complete or everything is intact. Clarify the three of pentacles, please. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we got the... I like this card. Confirmation, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Mastering your emotions. I feel like... Yo, I don't know why. I say, Did I say this? Okay, so this message was for y'all. I don't know whether this was yesterday or today or in my dream or my sleep. I heard the world is your oyster. I don't know who that was for, but I guess this was for you, Aries. I feel like the world is your oyster. You can go a lot of places because I feel like your your heart is like expanding right now. Your emotions towards things. So like with the ten of whatever this three of pentacles, it was clarified by the seven of pentacles. You were waiting for, you were waiting for it to grow. You was waiting for um this to build now your emotions are invested your emotions are set okay this allowed your heart to you've or you could have actually been battling your emotions with this and been not confident either expressing them or your truth about something okay but overall like this is you this is like really confirmation like whatever you have your heart set on whatever you have your emotions there was a, this is like, I'm just hearing like growth and expansion for Aries right now. And if you don't believe that, you need to start believing that because you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. All right. Okay. You are guided here because you know, your soul know that you are destined for greatness at this time. Okay. I don't just speak all this shit for no reason. Okay. If I'm a... 
If I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to tell you something. Because why? Because right now, your strength is this tower. Your strength is you're overcoming the shit that you've overcome a lot of shit, Aries. You overcome tower after tower, difficulty after difficulty, challenge after challenge. Okay? Repeated cycles. Re Even if they're not repeated, you just gotten over a lot of shit. Okay? Boom, 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 boom. I'm just hearing things crashing, things slamming. You could be, like, easily angered or just easily frustrated because you've just gone through the ringer, like, for real. And I, it's like, it's time for the, this is why it's time for the change. This is why Spirit is telling you, like, you've been through so much shit. Now I want to send you places. We want to send you to where you you truly are desiring to go with that King of Cups. Where does your heart lie for real, for real? We have the near future. Let me get a clarify on this chariot. Now, I feel like you don't think you're going to make the right decision. The chariot's in reverse. Okay? You don't think whatever moves you make or decisions you make are going to be... Um, you think they're going to be unwise? Um... I'm hearing sticking your foot in your mouth. So you might not be able to see where something is going. Oh, wow. Literally. you Something is unclear. So maybe you're wanting to go somewhere. Or maybe you're wanting to take some action. But I don't... Maybe, there's just... There's some unclarity about... The, there. If this is not double, double confirmation, I don't know what... These cards literally unclarity about where to go next. Something's unclear. You leaving people, places, situations, but having the ha, not having the clarity. I kid you the fuck not. The chariot. Clarify the chariot. It's 927 on January the 27th. Someone's birthday could be September 27th. That person could be uh, 22, 22. That person could actually have, like, someone's birthday could be September 27th. Okay, yeah. You are overthinking this decision because I don't, you think something could be, could go wrong. You think that you're going to make the wrong decision and you're constantly overthinking. This is having you. Something has you in a bind or has you stuck. Palpitations. You could be having palpitations. Um, and it stops. I don't like to say this because I, I don't get this in a lot of readings. Somebody around you. Damn, I hate saying this shit. Somebody close to you could have could have had like heart problems, either a heart tumor or like a heart attack. I think you're you're not more so af afraid of what's going. To, okay. I, I think you're trying to just break some generational curses on heart attacks. So now I'm getting like food. Something about breaking general curses, generational curses linked to like heart disease or diseases in general. But I think you're afraid of this same pattern coming up. I don't I don't see that happening, Aries. Yeah, with the four of wands, I think something is very stable. Your health is intact. You're healthy. I feel like you've had to change up a lot. You have to you had to leave a lot of things behind. A lot of things behind to become this person that you are. We have um for the suggest approach, what okay. Aries, I know y'all are really, like, passionate and shit. And right, right. So, 
what I'm going to say right now as y'all suggest approach, don't take no shit into your own hands. I think you need to let shit play out the way it's supposed to play out, okay? If you have the means or the need to do something, do that. But any, any like, control of the situation, let go. Because I feel like either way, you have there's transformation here, but there's no, you cannot control the inevitable in this situation or in these situations. Clarify the justice, please. Clarify the justice card. Yeah. So, okay. Wow. We have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords. This is really you being out your head. So, this is really you being guided and allowing yourself to recover and heal from the things that you, you've gone through. This could be something that's starting over. Um... I'm hearing like a clean slate. A clean... Something about cardboard, but I got like a clear canvas. Something is clear, something is glass, something is transparent. Something is real. Aries, you're real. You're... You're rare and beautiful, period. But I feel like you've kind of got the confirmations with the 9 to the 10... Um, that whatever cycles that you were up thinking about or that was causing a disruption, uh, an uncertainty, a disharmony, a I'm getting something about you would lose sleep on this shit, insomnia. This is clearing out. This is clearing the energy from the 9 to the 10. New beginnings. This is you being able to take all the swords out your back and start something over it by leaving some situations. Um... So, this is also working hard to build something back up. Working hard to build a case. So, if this is legal, you're working hard to bring some justice into a situation. That, that would also make sense. Um, you're, you're becoming... I feel like you're being more focused. You're more comfortable in this situation. I feel like some of y'all might, might have moved to, like, the city... This is you and like, I feel like this is like a one apartment, one, one bedroom apartment, like a, a sky rise or a high, that's why you say high rise. I feel like you're just in your, in your vibe, you feel me? Um, working, working hard to bring justice to a situation. You guys could be working on business ideas, bis writing up business contracts, business plans. Um, you guys could be designers, because I'm seeing her with the paper to the to the actual computer. Something you wrote down, you it's you're transferring, transferring documents, transferring images, transferring pictures from one device to the other. That could actually be your job, or this is this is what you're working long for, long term for. Um, but what you need to know now, clarify the page of wands. Oh, I'm gonna just take both. How about that? Okay, yeah. So you're definitely recovering. You could have been recovering from heartbreak. Um, this is you getting more. I think into your heart, healing your heart. Yes, healing your heart because right now we have the uh, getting your emotions back intact, your emotions in order. Uh, this is uh, the devil card and the strength card, Capricorn, Leo. Being honest about a situation, but hold on, hold on. We can, whoa. <laughs> so... This could have been the past energy. All right, this could have been where you've encountered, where you've um, where heartbreak, where the heartbreak either stemmed from, or this is what's going on. Like this is what you could be dealing with. You could be dealing with a lot of tempting situations, um, and I think they're coming into the light. They're coming into the spotlight. They're coming into not fruition. But I think they're definitely coming to the forefront of your mind for a reason. This part is being in, in, uh, 
This part was inactive, now it's becoming active again. Ooh. Page of one. This could you not be taking action, and I, I think this is where that applause comes from. You decided not to take action on something, or you decided not to go through with something. I feel like you held your ground. I feel like you didn't reach out. If this is a person, you didn't, you didn't, um, either you didn't take a part of this, you didn't participate, you didn't take action or make a decision about it. And for that, you are being applauded. 10, 10, you are being gifted with a new beginning. You're being gifted with the, these new things around you. Oh, oh, oh. So I didn't pull both. I only pulled one. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna just do this one. So for the hope, you want something to be stable. You, you're, you're looking for like the stable income, the stable um, streams of income, that consistent flow of um, money. You want something, you want to be grounded uh, in your spirit. Okay, you want to hold something secure. You want something secure. You want something stable. You want to sit lavishly and comfortably. But the hope is I feel like you are going to lose it. Or I feel like your, your heart's not going to be able to maintain it. Your heart's not going to be able to... Be firmly planted. You're afraid of your secrets getting out? Now I'm getting a whole bunch of other shit. You could be afraid to just lose your money. Or this is you just being able to lose your stability. Because I just keep hearing like... You're afraid to lose... I don't know, lose your heart in this? So you're afraid to like either invest in something because of your because of your heart. You're afraid to invest because I can't say that on this channel. But you're afraid to <laughs> to lose your money over a person. I'm just gonna say it like that. <laughs> I can't say the other thing. Yeah, this is a time to let your guard down and let love in. In any area, be confident. Be confident that these next situations, these next steps that you're going, are going to fulfill you. We have the 10. So this is two Libras. We got uh, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. We have really all of, all of them. This is a lot of Earth. Past Earth. Future Earth. But kind of two different energies. We got Libra with the Justice and the Empress. Um, but your potential future? Mm, hold on. The Hierophant, Taurus. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress. Alright, so this could you be juggling two business ideas. So this could be if you are relocating, you trying to figure out what's best for you, what you're not going to take action on. Okay. Now, you need to build the strength and the courage to make a decision, make a wise decision about where you want to invest, where you want to plan, where you are feeling like you need, or where you, what you, something about having help, <clears throat> reaching out. This could be you reaching out to help, or you reaching out for some help. So, this is like someone else's like service. Just do it. Whatever it is, whatever you are not feel like you are up for, you are up for it. Now, with the Empress, I didn't really get the energy until I pulled the full card. Honestly, this space, I think 
this is you needing to like okay the empress manifests okay the empress allows things to come into your life now this like i'm saying this is uncomfortable because you haven't done it before this is uncomfortable because you haven't been in this space before this is brand new so this 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 feeling of okay you are the emperor right you needing you've been so in your masculinity whether you are you are actually like a male or a female you this is not this is not so much more taking action and chasing going after for you want this is allowing spirit to work for you you don't have to work so hard for the things that you want you can allow them to come to you okay now you still have to take action on certain things but allow the results to just flow don't try to control the situation the man the man okay these have to do with manifestations the things that you are manifesting you don't have to work so hard for you can just allow them to play out the way they're going to play out because the way they play out might not look anything the way like the way you thought they would okay aries so that's what I got for you. We're going to pull some monology cards because for some reason this has been the deck, okay? I ordered one more deck. I promised that would be my last one. I should have ordered an oracle deck, but I ordered a, a tarot deck. And it's I will be using that one all of the time now because it kind of fits. It fits like purpose of this channel if you can guess what tarot did I, you will receive a free reading the first person who can guess what that i ordered that pertains to this channel will receive a free reading messages for the aries what messages what additional messages do you have for the aries sun moon rising venus Titcher, Titch, Titcher, Tish, Tishner. I don't know what that means. Uh, we have a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So you could have Libra in your chart dealing with a Libra. This is about, I'm telling you, not, not overworking a situation, allowing the divine you keep working on what you need to do and spirit will work with you okay the universe will work with you to restore order this is you also have right behind that what do you need to release what what do you need to let go of what what mindsets what thought patterns what people what situations are you still holding on to okay we have communication is key new moon in gemini so this can you be holding back like I'm saying, like I was saying, I don't know where the cards at, but the King of Cups. Tell, express yourself. If you if you don't think a situation is right, say that. If you want to be in another situation, say that. If you want something to change, tell the universe what you want. But there is this could this is either king communication between you, your logic, and your your left side and the right side of your brain, the more creative versus the analytical. This is you with spirit or you with another person. Either way, communication has not been had in this situation. Um, we have take the time out to breathe. So this probably is the reason why you are wanting to leave so badly or wanting things to change so rapidly because you need a break. You, you, you probably work too hard thinking you're not gonna get the results that you want just take the time out to breathe and relax and focus on yourself. This is a new chance to really focus on what you need, okay? And the last card we have is you're very close to achieving your dream, Aries. This is the Gibbous Moon. You can see how that pertains to you. Um, but this is the overall you achieving, achieving what you want, knowing what you want. And this is the confirmation that you are very close to achieving any goal, dream, Bounty li boundless, limitless that you are, okay, and you gonna get there, all right. <laughs> but uh, Aries, this is all I have for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it resonated. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.